and welcome to Pull My Focus, Adventures in the Technical and Business World of Video Filmmaking. This is Frank. I'm going to talk to you about practical dimmers and how to wire them up for your own use. What the hell is this? So I'm going to talk about two basic types of practical dimmers. A standard dimmer, which is what's used with tungsten lights, and an electronic dimmer, which works with everything, including dimmable LEDs and CFLs. Dimmers come in various types. A dial, flip switch with a slider on the side, slider on the top. The switch itself is the dimmer, rocker switches, and I have no idea what the hell that is. Which type you use is really up to you, but I prefer a flip switch with a slider for electronic dimmers. A flip switch, it's pretty clear whether it's on or off. I like sliders because I find it's easier to mark the level I need to dim the light up to or down to, especially during a shot. Note that the issue with dimming tungsten is that as you lower the light level, its color temperature lowers as well. That's why I prefer to use dimmable LED bulbs for practicals in a shot, as their color temperature doesn't change. Now I also like to use dimmable LEDs, particularly LED PARs, for my key, fill, backlight, edge light, wherever I can. So dimmers, electronic dimmers, are a great way to adjust their light level without affecting the color temperature. I'm going to show you two different configurations to wire up a dimmer. Now, note that we're not wiring these into a wall, which is where they're normally meant to go. We're going to put them into their own little boxes, and we're making them portable so that we can take them with us wherever we go and insert them right between the power and the lamp. So let's go. Let's, let's go. I'm going to wire this up into a six foot non-grounded extension cord. This one is a 16 gauge wire, which is good for about 13 amps, way more than we need with practical LEDs. I have to cut the extension cord so I can fit it into the box. The plugs are too big to fit through the holes on the side. After cutting, I separate the two wires, hot and neutral, on the cut ends of the extension cord, strip the insulation off the end so I can wire it up, and insert them into the holes of the outlet box. In the US, there are two sized prongs. The larger is the neutral, smaller is the hot. Ah, but wait, how can you tell which is the hot and which is the neutral? Because there's no black or white insulation. Good question. And it's simple. Where the insulation is ribbed. For her pleasure. Where the insulation is grooved. That's the neutral. Where it's smooth, that's the hot. Really? Then I wire the incoming hot wire to the brass screw on the dimmer out on the silver side. Since we're wiring the dimmer into the hot line, the neutral will just be wired right through. Remember, we are not breaking the neutral, but the hot. Then I wire the neutral back together with a wire nut. Then I'll screw the dimmer into the box, add a cover plate, and we have a portable dimmer. So in this configuration, you get a six foot extension cord with a dimmer. But a lot of times, you want to control a light from a distance, either during a shot or while you're setting up a shot. In this case, it would be handy to have the dimmer offset. Simple. We'll take the same six foot extension, cut it in the middle, separate the hot and the neutral, and pull the two plugs together. Now we cut the neutral short and wire it back together and tape it good. Extend the hot wires out together, which will be about three foot, right? Wire them to the dimmer, just like we did before. Input to the brass screw, output to the silver. We now have a dimmer that can control a light from three feet away. We could use a longer extension cord uh, or add more wire to make an even longer remote. Thanks for watching. Would love to hear any questions or feedback that you have. Uh, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, subscribe to get notification of new videos that we post weekly and let also let us know if there's any other topics you'd like us to cover. You know, like this one about dimmers.